Apple TV's Band of Brothers successor is in full swing. The men of the 100th have been shown to us throughout the course of the first four episodes as they take to the skies, hoping to survive the flak bombardment, enemy gunfire, and any other mechanical problem that could lead to a terrible swift end. The action and intensity in Part 5 of Masters of the Air only get more intense. Episode 5 of Season 1 of the Apple TV Plus series is the best one yet, with the surviving crewmen returning to battle after losing even more of their comrades. With a strong climax that will tug at your heartstrings, this tragic and intense episode makes the most of its simple plotline and gradually developing character development. Part 5 opens with a confirmation of Crosby's fate. The navigator survived the terrifying journey and is back at the base of the 100th bomb group. Crosby did not perish during the last trip. Crosby comes back with Blakely and Douglas. When many others were dying, they managed to return to base somehow. They receive an instant debriefing. Crosby acknowledges that he witnessed Gale's plane getting struck and subsequently crashing. After 21 successful missions, they felt their heroic captain was unbeatable. Therefore, they are devastated to have lost him. A hero's welcome is extended to the surviving. There is no time to celebrate the squadron's reunion because a new mission has been announced. The group is taken aback by how close the next task is. Following his outstanding efforts, Crosby is elevated to the position of group navigator. The squad is informed about their most recent mission at the following briefing. The railroad yards near a city core will be their focus. The crew members fear that during the bombing raid, they may kill people. They are informed that accuracy is crucial as a result. Only 17 aircraft are available for the brief flight. They anticipate another complex and expensive battle. The group then talks about how unfair it all is. They are fighting to survive with such a small squadron and have been going on missions practically every day. They are discussing the innocent casualties when Bucky overhears them. This is war, he reminded them. Of course, all he wants is retribution for Gale's death. As the group departs on their next mission, Bubbles congratulates Crosby on his recent promotion. They are nervous about the capability of these new vehicles since they are traveling on new aircraft. Crosby anxiously awaits his friend's safe return home as he waits back at base. They are informed that there were four early aborts because of mechanical issues. This indicates that the squadron is down to just 13 aircraft. Despite the horrifying statistic, they manage to reach the coast safely. However, the adversary strikes right away, instantly taking out one of the hundreds planes. Bucky's aircraft also gets hit. The enemy then launches hundreds of planes upon them. There's a shootout. It's an intense conflict. The air attack claims many crew members' lives or injures them. The planes are still a minute away from their target, and they're falling left, right, and center. The engines of Bucky's jet die as they approach closer to their goal. He is now down to just one engine left. At this rate, they will not be going home. After removing all of the bombs from the aircraft, Bucky gets the crew ready to leave. At the last moment, every member of the crew perishes into enemy territory from the aircraft. When Bucky lands in a field, he immediately hides. As this is going on, the other planes successfully drop their bombs on the target. As they start their escape effort, flak and hostile attackers strike them. The conflict results in further plane losses. Rosenthal appears to be the last remaining aircraft. There are far too many of them. The remainder of the squadron is anxiously awaiting the return of the survivors back at base. They are told, however, that nobody has returned home. Rosenthal's plane is the only one that returns undamaged. They discuss the mission's disarray at the debriefing. The scene is made more eerie by the questioning room being mostly empty. There are no other plane's logs to discuss. What has happened to the remaining members of the squad is unknown. When Crosby learns that Bubbles has passed away, he is devastated. After going to Bubbles' quarters, he reads the letter Bubbles wrote to Crosby's wife, which he had written when he believed Crosby had passed away. The last scene is heartbreaking as Crosby sobs uncontrollably. Because of his promotion, he believes he is too responsible for the death of his best buddy.